The Super Bowl just happened, and uh, do you like Super Bowl? Well, um, I'm nothing against Super Bowl, but we all know that the real football is football. Here's a picture of real football. Here's a picture of fake football, which is so not, yeah, you know, American football, which is crap, kind of. <laughs> but if you have to root for one team in American football, it's obviously uh, the uh, Texas Cowboys. Shout out. Anyway, so... Uh, here's Paul. If you don't know, don't know who it is, he is obviously the third member of Dev Films. He's usually behind the camera, so it's a very special occasion. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know why, it's because it's a pirate movie, and I, which I didn't know that Paul was a big fan of the pirates movies. Always been since the first one came out. They're they're great adventures about the sea and swashbuckling things, and uh, they're great. So myself, I always thought they're funny. Like I'm nothing really against them. I always thought they were pretty, you know, entertaining movies. I'm not gonna hate on them without reason, uh, <coughs> Spider-Man. But either way, so um, yeah, we've been waiting a long time for the fifth one, almost six years, and we got one teaser trailer in October, which was excellent. It had the tone right. The music was eerie, and the, the introduction of Salazar was was spot on. Okay, but anyway, we're the great build. We're low on battery on this camera, so uh, we'll start in three. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. So this is our first extended look at the movie, and it's finally time to watch it. Almost six years in the waiting. Okay, Paula. <laughs> okay, people, here we go. Okay. Oh, it's like a skeleton bird, cool. It reminds me of the monkey from, uh, the skeleton monkey from Barbarossa. Hopefully it's not gonna take over that road though. Oh, it's a new castle. Oh. When I hear the trumpet sound, I'm on a rise right out of the ground. Ain't no grave can hold my body down. The dead have taken command of the sea. The search for a sparrow. Well, look way down the river. What do you think I see? I see a band of angels and they're coming after me. Ain't no grave can hold my body down. Ain't no grave can hold my body down. Pirate's life. There ain't no grave can hold my body down. Uh, no? Well, I mean, for me, sure, it looks cool. Uh, sorry if, if there was a shaky camera, but I was holding but it But one of my main points like, why is Jack Sparrow always in, like, in the center of all stories? Why is he always the key for it? Can he just be, like, a part of the story instead of being the story? Because, I mean, it's already been happening in all the movies that he's the, like, key to everything. And, uh, I mean... He's a classical hero figure. Like, different. sure, I'm up for the pirate stuff, but uh, the, like... Supernatural shit like skeleton people haven't we already seen that too? I mean these guys are just like the skeletons or like the uh, a mix between the skeletons and like the uh, like you know Water type of people like it's always like some weird like crew of like skeletons or like water men and now it's ghost men Can well, they just be like the effects on the ghost are crew? good. You know if what you would be the, cool? If you like, see the, the, the hair like it seems like they're under water and all that looks good the effects of, on the on the makeup and the look of them, it they look like sea sea ghosts, and it's it is different. It is you know what would be cool, like an actual like an our pirate crew that's like a conquerance against them, like a rival. Like for example, that's where like the I like the fourth one being like Blackbeard actually being a normal person, but then I had to ruin it with you know like zombies and shit. It's cool to see Barbarossa. I mean, he has mm. to be in every movie. Mm. We got to see uh, Barbarossa is, is more on the good side now, which is nice. He, he went um, through a pro progression. Like the weird boat shit, and I didn't like the idea when like it's like splitting up and like ruining shit. Nah, well, I, I thought that I thought that was a Dutchman ship. The Dutchman has has some kind of weird weird features to it. It's more like a haunted ship. Because we never get to like a so you could buy into that. I think you can buy. We into never that. get like a normal uh, like have we ever gotten a normal like ship battle? Like in the first movie. We don't get one because they're like immortal people, skeleton guys shooting. Well, here, here we actually saw one ship going. In the second movie, we have against like the uh, weird creature men, and they're like with the kraken. Third movie, it's obviously not a normal ship battle. 
fourth movie, there's not even a ship battle at all. And in the that was that was more about the quest. Of and in this the one, I don't know. Do we get a normal ship battle? It doesn't look like it. Yes, we get like the Rick ship, said like, we're boom. gonna get thirteen ships in in battle. Let's see if that's true or not. Okay, that's cool because like that's something that's always fascinated with me in the in the shape of like in the seventeenth century, like. I never, we never seen like a big ass ship battle. Like you know those like paintings. If you've seen it with big ship battles, here's a picture of one. Like imagine like how that would be in real life. It would be total chaos and carnage. So I'd like to see that on the big screen. And hopefully with thirteen ships, we might get that. Because in the third movie, they hinted at it, but had to ruin it. It was it, they were over budget already. <laughs> so obviously, um, no. But that one ship battle we got in in, in at World's End was still was still uh, exciting and good. Even though we wish we could have gotten more ships, but maybe we'll get more and more one day. Uh, so, um, yeah. I mean, hopefully it'll bring something new to the Pirate series, because right now, to be honest, I don't see anything new in it. I only see stuff I've seen before. But it doesn't mean it's something bad, though. I'm just saying that hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll still get some goes. new spices to it, right? We'll see where the story goes. If it's a good adventure that gives some optimism to you and, 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 gives, and ends on a good and happy note and makes you feel good about going into seeing the movie then then it's all worth it for me so I'm gonna Although, go with... I'll say I'll say this I like the look I like the visuals I like I like the ocean <coughs> the, the way they filmed it I like I like the new crew and uh, the new villain wouldn't see much of the new heroes I'll say I wasn't sure about this the, the use of the song in the trailer I would have preferred the classic theme song but we'll see that's it's a gimmick to doing these days with the songs in the trailers. Okay, so for me, I'm gonna go in a little bit spectacular when I see the movie. I'm not gonna be like overexcited and like positive to it, but I'm not gonna be negative either or hating on it because I mean, so far they've been okay. So I'll try not to. It's my most uh, anticipated movie. We're running movie out of battery of and memory, so uh, yeah, final words for Pale because I'm done. It's my most anticipated movie of the year. Hope it delivers. Hope we get hear more from the soundtrack, and uh, I hope it ends well. I hope the camera wasn't shaky. Sorry for that. Sorry for the shaky camera.